Hello everyone, welcome to Math Switch Math Tips. In this video, we are discussing the uh, nonlinear partial differential equation, the solution procedure of nonlinear partial differential equation that is the Charpid methods and four type of special equations. So let's start the video and before starting the solution, I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel, please like the video, comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe the channel. And in the previous videos of PDE, uh, we already discussed the solution procedure of linear PD of first order, order equation types of PD classification of PD so those who are not watching the videos I will share the link in the description and also here in the i tab so you can go and check the link for the videos first we see what is the complete integral so a complete integral says that a PD which contains the uh, PQ with higher power than uh, unity and that means the power of P and Q are more than 1 so order of P or Q must be greater equal to 1 greater than sorry greater than 1 and the product product of p and q product on p and q a solution of such an equation containing as many arbitrary constant as there are independent variables is called a complete integral a particular integral is obtained by giving the particular values of the constant so these are mainly the complete integral and the particular integral now there are uh, before going to the solution of the method that is charpid method of the nonlinear pd we now first discuss the four types of special types of nonlinear pd and their solutions with examples so the first one is the equation of the type that involves p and q only that means the equation is a function of p and q that means a p q equal to zero so and from the nonlinear PD, what is our uh, motto? Our motto is to find the value of P and Q and put in the equation dz equal to PDX plus Q dy as same. This is same as the solution procedure of linear PD and then integrate to find the uh, variable Z. So solution procedure of a if P Q equal to zero this. So let P equal to A and Q equal to phi. Let us take put p and q in dz equal to pdx and pdx plus q dy then dz equal to we get adx plus phi a into dy then integrate we get z equal to ax plus phi a into y plus this is the constant of integration so this is the first type of pd which is uh, only the function of p and q and here is a note that in this case the singular solution of this equation does not exist so this is a note remind that note and uh, the solution and uh, now let us take an example let a p q equal to p plus q minus p q this is equal to 0 so let us take p equal to a and uh, then we uh, find the value of q this is equal to function of a that is phi a now if we put the value p equal to a in the given equation then we find the q though so q equal to a by a minus n which is equal to phi a as we uh, tell above in the solution process a and phi a. so then we put the value of this p u and this q in the equation dz equal to pdx plus q dy therefore dz equal to a into dx plus phi a that means a into a minus 1 into dy and integrate we get z equal to ax plus a minus a by a minus 1 into y plus constant so this is the complete integral for the case when uh, the equation is uh, function of p and q only now let us go to the next type of solution next type of equation equation number uh, type number b equations is of the form z equal to px plus qy plus a of pq so this type of equation considered as a clairot's form of y equal to px plus ap as same as in ordinary differential equation so this is p equal to dy dx uh, in od so this uh, solution procedure is same as od uh, which is uh, known as Clairaut's form. So the complete integral of, is obtained by putting p equal to a and q equal to b in the given equation. That is the solution is z equal to ax plus by plus a of b. So this is the easiest solution for a nonlinear partial differential equation of first order. So let us take an example. Z equal to px plus qy plus pq. So this equal to px plus qy plus a of pq. So this is the same form as we say above. So 
so this is equal to the complete integral just we put the value p equal to a and q equal to b r a b and b r constant so this gives z equal to ax plus b y plus a b so this is the complete integral for the equation this a p x plus q y plus f of p q this format for this format now go to the next uh, one the next one is p d that is not containing x and y that means it is the function a p q z this is equal to 0 what is the solution process the solution process is put x equal to x plus c y or x plus any constant into a c is an arbitrary constant replace p and q by dz dx d capital x and c dz d capital x respectively in the given equation and then solve the resulting od so now going to the example which is uh, properly elaborated this thing so let us take z p q minus p minus q this is equal to 0 so first let us put x equal to x plus c y which is and this equation is of the form what a function of p q and z this is equal to 0 so put p equal to dz d capital x and q equal to some constant c into dz d capital x this gives if we put in the equation z p q uh, minus uh, p minus q this is equal to 0 so z into dz d capital x into q means c dz d capital x minus p means dz d capital x and q means minus c dz d capital x this is equal to 0 so this gives this c z into dz d capital x whole square minus 1 plus c into dz dx this is equal to 0 so this gives c z dz dx d capital x this is equal to 1 plus c where since dz d capital x is not equal to 0 this implies c j dz this is equal to 1 plus c into d capital x and now integrating we get c z square by 2 this is equal to 1 plus c into capital x plus constant now put the value of capital x what is the value of capital x the capital x means x plus c y so this implies c into z square by 2 this is equal to 1 plus c into uh, x plus c y plus constant this constant is the integrating constant and c is an arbitrary constant so this is the third type of equation uh, of nonlinear partial differential equation of first order let us come to the let us comes to the next one the next one is equation of the type phi x b this is equal to psi into y q that means if z is absent and the terms containing p and x can be separated from those containing q and y that means p and x can be separated and the function of p and x uh, and q and y are separated can be separated then this is the solution process the solution process is put phi of x p equal to psi of x q this is the these two are the separated functions on the variable x and p and this is the function separate function with respect to y and q if we separate these two uh, pair of variables so this is equal to c now then solving for p and q we get p equal to function of x and q equal to a function of y that means fx and gy since this function not containing x and this function is not containing y so this p is a function of x and q is a function of y now put these values in dz equal to pdx plus q dy we and integrating we get this dz equal to integrating uh, fx dx plus gy dy plus constant let us take an example of this type so let us take p square plus q square this is equal to x plus y now if we write p square minus x is equal to q y minus q square then this is function of p and x and this is function of q and y which are which can be separated and this is equal to constant suppose let us take the constant as a so p equal to plus minus root under x plus a and q equal to plus minus root over of y minus a now put the values of p and q in dz equal to p dx plus q dy and we get plus minus dz since this p is plus minus value so this is plus minus and this is plus minus so we, we write plus minus on the left side so plus minus integration dz equal to root under x plus a dx plus root under y minus a into dy so this gives plus minus z plus this is the integrating constant a this is equal to 2 third into x plus a power 3 by 2 and since uh, the integration of this x to the power 1 by 2 this is equal to x to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 so this is equal to 2 by 3 x plus a to the power 3 by 2 plus 2 by 3 into y minus a power 3 by 2 so this gives the complete integral of this type of function 
now let us come to the most important uh, solution procedure of uh, nonlinear partial differential equation which is charpitz method this method is used for finding the complete integral of a nonlinear pd consider the equation f x y z p q this is equal to 0 equation number 1 the uh, four types if the equation does not occurs in the above four types of pd then the general solution of this of the nonlinear pd the method is charpitz method since z is depends on x and y we have dz equal to pdx plus q dy so our motto is to find the value of p and q from this equation in both the case for case of linear and for case of non-linear we have to put the value of p and q in this equation and then integrate we just integrate with the get the solution for the dependent variable z so this is equal to del z del x dx and del z del y dy now this is if we can find the another relation it will be x y z p q such as phi x y z p q equal to 0 let us take 3 then we can solve the equation 1 and 3 what is the equation number 1 this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2 then we uh, sub for solve for p and q and substitute in the equation 2 this will give the solution provided to is integrable so if we can solve this equation 1 and 3 and put the value of p and q substitute into this will give the solution provided the uh, 2 integral 2 is integrable so let us first find now for charpitz method we have to find the charpitz auxiliary equation and this is a big equation you can uh, remind this equation so dx by del f del p since the function f is this function f x y z p q is equal to 0 this function f x y z p q equal to 0 so first we find have to find the charpitz auxiliary equation that is dx by del f del p minus del f will be this is equal to dy by minus del f del q this is equal to dz by minus p del f del p minus q del f del q dp by del f del x plus p del f del z and dq by del f del y plus q del f del z and from this equation we just uh, need to find the value of p and q and then put dz in this equation so let us take the uh, example px plus qi equal to pq and if uh, P, therefore f x y z p q this is equal to p x plus q y minus p q this is equal to 0 and charpitz auxiliary equations are d p by so d x by uh, minus del f del p d y by minus del f del q d z by minus p del f del p minus q del f del q d q by del f del y plus q del f del z and del uh, d p by del f del x plus p del f del z now we first find the this uh, five partial differential uh, so del f del x this is equal to p from the given equation since f x y z equal to this therefore del f del p equal to x del f del y equal to q del f del p equal to x minus q del f del q equal to y minus p so we find the uh, five partial derivatives and put the partial derivatives in this equation to get the charpitz auxiliary equation and we get charpitz auxiliary equation is equal to dp by p plus p into 0 dq by q plus q into 0 dz by minus p del f del p means x minus q minus q del f del q that means a y minus p this is uh, equal to dx by minus of x minus q this is equal to dy by minus of y minus p now taking first two ratio we just uh, need to find the value of p and q from this big equation so if we take first two ratio then we get dp by p is equal to dq by q and if we integrate this then we get log p is equal to log q plus log c and this gives p equal to log of cq and this gives p equal to cq now we get a relation between p and q now if we put this relation into the given equation the given equation is very important also very important if we put the value of p is equal to cq in the given equation px plus qy equal to pq then we get cqx uh, plus qy minus cq square this is equal to 0 since q not equal to 0 therefore we get cq is equal to cx plus y 
Now from equation 3 and 4 we get q equal to cx plus y by c and p equal to cx plus y. Now putting the value of p and q in dz equal to p dx plus q dy we get dz equal to cx uh, plus y dx plus cx plus y by c this is the value of q and this is the value of p dy. Now integrating we get c dz is equal to c into if we multiply both sides by c then c into cx plus y dx plus integral uh, cx plus y into dy. So this gives cx plus y common from the both the integral and c dx plus dy and this is the differential of this. So cx plus y means if we take the differential then this gives c dx plus y. So that means this is of the form suppose u du u du. So u du integration means cz equal to u square by 2 that means integration uh, this means cx plus y whole square by 2 plus constant. So this gives the complete integral for using uh, by using Charpitz method. So how is the content? If the content is helpful then please give a like to this video, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you friends. See you again in the next video.